Hello my beautiful MK Love fam. Welcome back to another episode and let's discuss everything about what you need to do before you get into your next relationship. It's all about dating yourself. So this video was actually inspired by one of our beautiful MK Love fam, Jo. She wrote in a comment on my latest video, how to manifest the one. She said, I love your energy. You radiate happiness and optimism. I'm currently focusing on dating myself. So I thought that was just such an interesting term how she called it dating herself. I was like, yes, Joe, you totally need to date yourself. And Joe, you are the huge inspiration behind today's video. Now, you may be watching this video because maybe you have just gotten out of a toxic, emotionally abusive relationship and you're like, okay, I feel like I just need me time. And this is the perfect video that's going to help you along your journey. So I'm so glad that you are here. So uh, the first one I wanted to talk to you, actually, let me put it on my screen is number one is to treat yourself the way you want to be treated. It sounds ridiculously like blase, but it, it holds so much power. Think about this. If you're going to wake up in the morning and then go to brush your teeth, look at yourself in the mirror and you'd be like, you're a useless piece of shit. Today is gonna to be awful. It's gonna be the same bullshit. Why are you still here? You know, if you say that to yourself, like, holy flipping hell, what vibration are you putting out to the universe? Because you are actually attracting a low vibrational person into your existence. It could be the company that you keep or it could be a new relationship coming in. Depending on what it is, it is not good for your mental well being. Now, when I go to the bathroom in the morning, I always send love to my teeth. Number one, because as somebody who has suffered from emotional abuse as a child, you store a lot of your emotions in your teeth. And I'm a massive grinder in my sleep and that's why I sleep with a, a mouth guard and I listen to my power affirmations, which we'll talk more about later. So I send love to my teeth to my teeth and I'm like, I'm so happy and grateful. I have beautiful, strong, healthy teeth. And I feel so empowered every morning I wake up and I'm like, whoa, I broke the cycle of abuse. My teeth will never get worse. You know, they're just gonna get healthier and stronger and the tissue is going to rebuild and the bones are gonna be more amazing than they ever have been. And I just send so much love to my teeth. So maybe that triggered something within you if you're someone who used to grind your teeth or you still do. So yeah, just sending love to yourself. I feel like that's the most important thing. It's like you need to become like the leading lady of your life. Like, you know that scene from the holiday? In the movies, we have leading ladies and we have the best friend. You, I, I can tell, are leading lady. But for some reason, you're behaving like the best friend. <sighs> you're so right. You're supposed to be the leading lady of your own life, for God's sake. So you need to like hold yourself accountable. Like if you want somebody to show affection to you, you need to show affection to yourself. How do you take care of your body? There's so many things involved in this and I'm so curious to hear about what this triggered for you down below. Now, let's have a look at the next one too. Number two is to build up your self-love armor. This is rebuilding your vibration. This is actually reprogramming your subconscious mind, focusing on those 95% of the thoughts that you have on a day-to-day -day basis, I think it's like 80,000 thoughts that you have a day. If 95% of them are, you know, like you on autopilot, you want to make sure as hell that they are good. So the way that I teach my clients in my eight week coaching program is through power affirmations. They are talking in the present tense and acting as if everything is flipping fabulous. Because you know what, when you start talking it into resistance, you start feeling the emotions as if it's already manifested, the universe can't tell the difference and it starts to bring it to you. So let me give you an example. I am so happy and grateful. I am so happy and grateful now that I am lovable because I exist. I love waking up every single morning and know that success is guaranteed for me. My day gets better and better and better. I love that I have the awareness of my emotions. So when I feel any discomfort or any ease, I know exactly where I am on the emotional guidance scale and I know exactly where I can be. And I do whatever I can within my power to choose better feeling thoughts. I love that every Every day is just 
is just filled with so much joy, love, peace, and happiness. I love that I'm magnetically drawing these beautiful high vibrational souls into my existence. I love taking care of myself. As simple as it is, I love going outside in the morning, getting that morning sun, getting rid of that evening serotonin, building, no, the melatonin, topping it up with the serotonin. So, you know, I just, I'm walking on sunshine. Wow. It's like, you want to be able to like strut down the street. You want to feel that kind of good. You want to start dressing for success. Not just success as in like you, you're doing all of this just for the end goal of finding a partner. No, 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 no way. No, you're doing it for you because it feels good. And when you start building your armor, um, think of Demi Lovato's song, and you can never hurt me again. It's like building the armor so that you are protected. That way, when you see those red flags, you go, thank you, next. You just get rid of them. You move them to the side and you're like, honey, I ain't settling for you because you are a piece of shit. And you're showing to me that I attracted you, so I have more healing to do. Okay. <laughs> so there's so many things involved in this, but actually there's a really fabulous song from Dead Letter Circus. They're an Australian band touring all over Europe at the moment. They have this really good song called The Armor You Own. I'm actually gonna link it for you in the description. Check it out on Spotify, it's so freaking good. Let me just read you some of the lyrics that, they've, that they um, have said in their song. It says, you will reach, you will fall down. Every time you fail, you will change. You will break open this light and from it you will know the way. I won't leave. You will step out from this tower that has kept you safe home will be where you are now. Like, doesn't that just hit so many like boom, 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 boom. Think of like the tower as in the tower in the tarot deck. It, the tower is just an opportunity to rebuild your foundation. If your foundation is built on shifting sand, holy flipping shipples, you are having a hard time, girl. You know, you want to rebuild on cement, on beautiful, solid foundation. You want to build a beautiful home. And if the home that you're in right now is filled with toxic emotional abuse and all this crazy shit under the sun, it is time for you to get rid of all of that stuff. We'll talk more about that, I think, in number five. but. It's a really, really good song. Let me just continue with the other lyrics because it's that good. They say, um, you know that this place must end. Know that this temple I built, you'll shed. You will awake to your consciousness. Stand up and know that you are the one who shapes. And know when you give, if your heart dictates. Show all the empathy that you own with each moment. No, keep nothing safe, you will grow from harm. The further you fall, you will return to your own. Know that you'll always be chasing something. You are chasing you because you deserve to be the leading lady of your life. Like, ugh, it's crazy because like, I, I know how frustrated I am watching clients in this predicament. And this is why now I've decided that I'm going to be working with single women. I'm a single lady, now put your hands up single women because I don't want them to limit their healing because they are in a toxic codependent relationship. You know, I want women who are at the stage where they're like, I love you, but I love me more. You know, from Sex in the City that Samantha says at the end, you know, it's like releasing them. It's like moving away from the toxic situation and rebuilding that temple, you know, so that light can come in and you get rid of your mattress, you get rid of all the bullshit stuff that used to remind you of that person and you start rebuilding, building stronger than ever, rebuilding that armor so you don't allow anyone to penetrate any of that toxic bullshit to you ever again. You're gonna have the awareness, I think that's part of building the armor, you're gonna then have the awareness to deal with different situations and when you can see people projecting their bullshit onto them, you won't react in the way that you used to. And that's exactly what I teach in my eight week program. It's incredible, it takes time though, but you can do it for yourself. Like I did it by myself, it just took me seven freaking years to figure out how the flip to do it. I can teach you how to do it in eight weeks, it just depends where you're at. Some of you may not even be ready to healing, but you're kind of like, what does this girl have to say? I'm kind of interested, even though I'm not ready, but I know that eventually I will be ready. Anyways, that's basically what I'm telling you about that. Let's have a look at number three. Number three is to fall in love with your own company. 
Mm -mm. This is like having a date day. Sunday um, in my single life used to be my date day. Now my date day is depending on whatever day my husband has off and if it's a void moon, because <laughs> I don't work on a void moon. Void moons are basically the time in between the moon, when the moon moves from one sign of the zodiac to another. And it's that in between, like sometimes you can kind of feel like flat and you're like, I don't know what's happening. And I never schedule client calls during that time or any, anything social um, because people cancel on you. And you're like, I don't have time for this bullshit. And it's kind of used void moons as like my self love time. And there's a lot of them. The moon changes sign every three days. <laughs> Actually, some of the void moons can be like over 48 hours and others could be like 15 minutes. If you want to know more, check out deluxemoon.com and you can see all the void moons or you can download them on iOS or um, Android. I'm not affiliated with them, but I freaking love it. Okay, so falling in love with your company is like dating yourself. The reason I wrote this one is because I really want you to truly look forward to those, I call them my mel date days. Um, and I love them. It's me time. It's time for me to connect and figure out what makes me feel good. I'm putting my needs number one. <laughs> oh, and then I have that song from S Club 7. Yo, yo, my number one. I do anything for you. Yeah, I do anything for myself because I am a lovable because I exist. And I deserve to fall in love with my own company because when you fall in love with your own company, you're not just gonna jump from relationship to the next relationship to the next relationship. You're gonna have time to process, to be like, what was all of the patterns that happened in my previous relationships? You're gonna use this time to fall in love with your own company to figure out who the hell you are. If you came from toxic, emotionally abusive, abusive romantic relationships and childhood, you have a lot of work to do, a lot of work to do. And you won't be like every single second, you won't be thinking about, oh, um, I got to text this person. I got to fill it up with something. I got to fill it out with that. No, just do nothing. And that's why I love working with the mama moon too in the different phases, because, you know, she shows you a time um, to reap the rewards and time to sow time to pull in for deep introspection. It's kind of like your menstrual cycle. Like, you know, when you get your period day, like one to three of your cycle, it's like deep hibernation. That usually happens around the new moon if you're synced that way. And then like you ovulate on the full moon when the moon is like bright and luminous and it like shines in your window and it's the best time to go camping because you don't need to bring a torch. You can just naturally see everything. There's a lot involved with that one, but it's like, you know, I love spending time with me. I'm highly independent, highly independent, but I just love doing things for me. And I know that before I got into my relationship with my now husband, it was like my favorite day. Like I would watch movies, I would go to the markets, get fresh produce. And I know on Saturdays they would have fresh sourdough. And I'm like, yeah, I'll totally pay $8 for fresh sourdough because it makes me feel good. Like it's just an extra treat. I drink chai tea lattes, actually more so rooibos tea now, but back then it was heavily chai. But I'm gonna be making my own chai soon. I kind of feel like I'm ready for it. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on to number four. Number four, I want you to tick off items off your bucket list. What? Yeah, I want you to start doing the things that you never prioritize in your relationship because you were so attached and codependent to this other person and I must do everything that they want. No, this is your time. This is your time to do the things you wanted to do. Two years into my four year emotionally abusive toxic relationship with a narcissist and I was codependent, blah, 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 blah. It basically was a relationship bottled, modeled off between my mom and dad. My ex was like my dad. They say that like you marry your dad unless you break the cycle. Well, that's from anyone who's been in a toxic relationship. Anyways, what was I talking about? Tick items off your list. Oh yeah, so two years into that relationship, I told my boyfriend at the time, it sounds weird to call him a boyfriend because I'm like, <laughs> um, I told him I wanted to move to England because um, I just finished my teaching degree as a primary school teacher and some company came to our university and was trying to recruit us to move to England. And I was like, oh, do you want to go? And he's like, no. And I put it off, put it off, put it off. Then one day the universe sent me a divine intervention. Two years later, I checked my junk email. Never ever check my junk email. But this day I did. And it's like, please come. 
you, you're cordially invited to this show. Um, basically, they were having like an expo to show you. Basically, the same thing we had at uni was coming literally 20 minutes down the road from where I was living at the time. And I was like, shit. I just decided to go. I didn't tell anyone I went there. And then <laughs> when it finished, I called my mom and I was like, I'm moving to England, I'm leaving such and such. Um, I need to book a removal list and pack all my shit up because I'm actually, mum, I'm moving back home for four months so I can save up before I go. And she was like, ha, ah, you want me to come? And I was like, nope. I went home, packed my life up in five hours, called a removal list truck and um, parted ways. And then when I got in the car, <laughs> You know, the first song that came on, this is before I even realized about angel numbers and synchronicities, was that song from Kelly Clarkson? Since you again, I can breathe for the first time. I'm so moving on, yeah, yeah. You know, like, I just love that song. That song is like deeply close to my heart because it was like, I didn't cry. I didn't cry until I got to my mom's house after a 12 hour freaking drive. Like Australia is huge. I was still in the same state, by the way. And I saw my mom and I just was like a little kid. Like sometimes, you know, when you feel that emotion and it just comes up and you see your little mama there and she hugs you and you just fall apart and you're just like, all as well as in the world now that mama bear's here to protect me. So anyways, long story short, <laughs> this is going quite long. What I was saying is that I decided to move to England after all of that long story. I decided to move to England because it was something I wanted to do. I never even left Queensland, Australia, like the state that I lived in, I never even left. I just decided this is where I needed to go. My angels were giving me all of these signs for such a long time, but I put it to the side because he didn't want to go. And so I got rid of him and then I decided to go. And that was the best, uh, how long was that there? Two years of my life. Then when that relationship, well, when that relationship, when my visa ended, I came back home and you know, when travel depression gets you, it's not good. And you know, I was like, you know what? I've always wanted to work on a cruise ship. Now is the best time to do it. And I manifested working on a cruise ship with the number one leading brand in children's entertainment. Um, worked on the cruise ship and it was like a bucket list thing. <laughs> Anyways, it was a bucket list thing to do it, but in it, it was hell. <laughs> anyway, so that's what I'm kind of saying. Like do things that you would never normally do or things that you kind of put off highly recommend that you do that. All right, next one, number five. Number five is I want you to release anything or anyone that no longer serves your highest good. In my last video, I spoke about getting rid of all my gold jewelry, selling my mattress because it was bad feng shui. Um, I actually had to part ways with the ex-boyfriend's mom and family, the mom was the hard one because like I really loved her and she was such a sweet woman. But I was like, no, I can't be hanging around you because I'm not gonna be able to attract my husband now. Otherwise, it's just, that's just not okay. I just didn't want that vibration going into my new relationship. I wanted a clean break. There's so many things that I did. There was a letter writing technique where I literally wrote a letter to my ex, never sent it to him. I wrote it just to get out all my feelings, burnt it, if you ever burn letters, take the ash away from the home so that toxic energy isn't, you know, reabsorbed in the soil. I usually do it at the beach. If I'm not at the beach, if I'm traveling, I just put it in the rubbish bin. There's so many things you can do. Getting rid of pictures. You know what you need to do, really. Whatever came up for you, think, of, think about that and maybe act upon it. Maybe you could start doing it today. There's so many things that you can do to prepare yourself. That's just like the tip of the iceberg. There is so much more under that. But I just wanted to give you those five tips to help you. You know, don't jump from relationship to relationship. Learn and heal. Become a vibrational match in this time to the relationship of your dreams. I was single for seven years. Seven years. And it was the best seven years of my whole life flipping life. It's where I got to experience, I experienced quite a lot of heartache as I was trying to navigate all of this relationship stuff. In a relationship, what I would say was never, I don't know, I wouldn't call them, were they relationships? Not really. None of them called me their girlfriend or anything like that. It was just, you know, do you know what I mean? Being a little bit too promiscuous, trying to fill the void, 
don't do that shit, you know, especially with sexually energy, when you're exchanging it. If you're having sex with somebody whose vibration is toxic, that toxicity goes into your vibration. That's why my coaching program, I spend a lot of time on the sacral chakra. That's where your um, your vagina is. And it's. I spend a lot of time talking about the menstrual cycle and how your period pain is a result of your emotional in a turmoil and also I spent a lot of time using yoni eggs which are crystal eggs that you insert into your vagina which help to release toxic pain oh my gosh I've had incredible results from them we can talk more about it but let me know any of your comments down below if you have any other topics that you want me to discuss further because I love 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 hearing from you anyways I just wanted to remind you to have an amazing day wherever you're in the world and if you're brand new to the MK love fam let me know. I usually can recognize your little usernames and your little profile picture. Um, but yeah, just introduce yourself and the, our beautiful MK Love fam will come and support you and say, welcome, welcome, welcome. Anyways, have an amazing day. I'll see you next episode. I love you so much. Bye. <laughs>